guys, welcome back to the Crew Debrief. I'm Nicole, it's another Wednesday. I have a Truly and vodka mix because why not spice it up a little more? And today, I'm going to tell you a story about another insane passenger that has to deal with kids again. I just, I don't get it. This was last summer and we were going international, I want to say Brussels or Paris. We were on one of the bigger planes. And as a language speaker, one of the positions you work is door greeter. So I'm at my door. I'm minding my own business. Hello, hi, bonjour, bienvenue, welcome aboard, you know, do my thing. And for some reason, three supervisors had showed up to our flight. I don't know why, there was no issues, like we weren't having any problems. And they're at the door, hanging out. So, hi, hello, welcome, hello, bonjour, welcome aboard, right? One of the supervisors went to the back to do something. And when he came up, he was like, all right, well, there was parents sitting separate and they had a small kid, so I moved the dad to sit with the mom. Great. Well, he goes to get off, we're ready to close the door, and this lady comes barreling up. All right, so just envision like three supervisors looking all shocked and surprised as this lady starts like cussing at them, and she's pissed. She was like, how dare you, how dare you force me to sit next to a child. I had that road to myself and then you made me sit next to a kid? I refuse, I'm not sitting next to this child. And they were like, no, the mom was already sitting there with this with the kid, like that's their seat. They were already going to be there. I can't believe that you're going to make me sit there. Do you know how many miles I fly with your company every year? Mind you, she didn't fly shit compared to what our status members fly. So sit your ass down, lady. And she's just going up. I'm a professor. I need to be able to have peace and quiet so I can work and sleep what I need to before we get there. And one of the supervisors was like, okay, so then we'll just take you off the plane and book you for tomorrow. You can't take me off this plane. You can't take me off this plane. What about my husband? Who we think didn't exist. I really don't think that he existed. But the lady was like, well then, I'm, if you don't calm down, like." That's going to be the course of action. So our purser came up to her and he was like, I'm sorry that you're upset, but if you please just calm down, we will do everything we can to make you more comfortable in the air. Her face dropped down one shade of red and she was like, fine. So she went back to her seat. We're like, great, we're gonna close the door. 20 seconds later, a bitch is back. And now she's pissed because the this child who was a lap child, so the kids under two, was on the floor and she couldn't get to her seat and it's just ridiculous of us to expect her a lawyer, now she's a lawyer, to have to put up with such frivolity as a child, which is going to cry and make noise and distract from what she needs to do. I honestly have no idea how we shut this door with her still being on the plane. I really don't know. Because I'm just trying to like greet people as they get on, sipping my tea on this crazy bitch. So she had been sitting in the zone that had extra leg room, so they moved her to a row to her by herself. She seemed fine. We do our first service, no problem. We get to the landing service, and one of the flight attendants working that aisle comes to the back super upset because this woman had gotten up to take pictures of this family to send to my company so that she could prove the ridiculous situation that we were forcing on her, that we were making her be involved in, sitting next to a child. And our purser came back and was like, absolutely not. You will not be taking pictures of this innocent family who has done nothing wrong. Mind you, this child has been nothing but pleasant this whole flight. So when we landed, I'm the door greeter. I'm saying, thank you so much for flying. See you next time. And she comes up to me and she was like, what is the name of your purser? And I was like, oh, why don't you just speak with him first? I'll go get him. And then my stupid ass turned around and yelled his name. She goes, oh, thanks, I don't need to talk to him. And I was like, well, actually, there's two of them working this flight, so you should probably still talk to him. There, there wasn't, I was just trying to cover my butt. He comes up and he was like, no, get off the plane. I'm not entertaining any more of your irate manners today. She got off the plane, but like was yelling. And she kept mentioning this husband, but we never saw her speak to anybody. No man spoke to her. We looked, there was no one else on the plane with the same last name as her. Not saying that she couldn't have kept her maiden name, but still like, it was really weird. Like you're making, I felt like she was making up this husband to try to give her like brownie points. She was just ironically, childishly pissed off about sitting next to a child. And the audacity of her to be that vocal about basically hating children with so many people around. 
Like, that's something you keep to your fucking self, bitch. You don't go around yelling about it. That's not a cute look. So, I, I don't know. But if there is a husband, I feel so bad for him. Poor man. I hope you had a wonderful day. The day I shot this, I, got, I, was, I just came from a bridal shower. Shout out to Rachel and Dan. Congratulations. And I will hopefully see you next week on the next crew debrief. It's on Wednesdays. Make sure to subscribe here and here ish around there. And I will see you next week. Cheers. Bye guys.